Jeremy Andrews, and the Dream Stream presents Rapid Runs. Shin Kazuma, uh, basically the main protagonist. And real boss fights should be some of them should be real quick. Some may take longer than others, but um, hopefully get through everything in one shot. No, uh, uh, you know, no cycles like the carrier in the desert. So it may go smoothly. It may go not so smoothly, but we'll see what happens. It's uh, it'll be fun. So. All right, I'm about ready to start in three, two, one, start. So, um, so basically, you're gonna hear a lot of the same stuff from the Super Nintendo game. Uh, same music and actually some different music that never made it to the Super Nintendo port. Which really sad, honestly, because some of the some of the tunes on this uh, version is, are just oh, they're such bangers. The the thundercloud level in particular, which is level two, one of the best songs in the game, and the fact that they didn't put it in the Super Nintendo game is an absolute travesty. All right, so we're gonna have the tank. We're gonna make this real quick. Oh, got that sweet spot. There we go. Make quick work of that. There's a little sweet spot between uh, the missiles that it fires off. They can be in that spot and the missiles won't hit you. Um, so this is one of the tunes I was talking about. Probably one of the best in the game and did not make it to Super Nintendo port. It's just, oh, it's so awesome. So, you'll see a lot of familiar stages, and you'll see some stages that aren't familiar uh, from the Super Nintendo game. So, um, the way this the way this one works is, um, you you have multiple hits, and it doesn't matter um like uh the super nintendo version you get hit once you have that little uh you have your life meter flashing danger and if you get hit during that danger um well you die and that's not the case in this game you could take a few hits at least depending on whether you're being shot at or whether you're running into um bosses or enemies so and you only go into stages with one sub weapon rather than multiples oh I didn't bummer that's okay stealth bomber comes up from the sky rather than behind front like the Super Nintendo version oh oh, oh. There we go. A little on the rough side, but not too bad. So, okay, so with this stage, as long as I hit all the trees, um, at the end will be a uh, like a secret unicorn shield. There'll be like a uh, unicorn symbol at the end that's kind of bouncing around, and that's my shield. But uh, in order to get that, I have to, I have to destroy all the trees that uh, that can be, well, destroyed. So right now, I am playing on a uh, on a Quamba Crystal arcade stick. Um, I've I've gone through this with keyboard, an eight bit Doe, and this 
um, this same arcade stick, and I just, I don't know, I, I think I have a better time with this than the 8-bit dough or anything else. Oh, okay, so there's my unicorn shield. Uh, Force Fortress. So, reason I go back and forth, you know, left and right is if I, sh if I move right, shots will go faster and take out these uh, turrets here. Okay, so we're just going to fly over this and start shooting this thing. Just like that. So, there's a couple ways to beat this boss. You could either take out the center or destroy all the turrets and the gunners. Um, and, and same goes with the uh, Minx cruise ship. Either you destroy the tower and the ship, or take out all the... all the guns. Oh. Yeah! So we're... yeah, this is the UN Squadron arcade version. Little... like I said, a little different than the, uh... Super Nintendo. Which I think's... Just kind of a little fun story that my best friend, who was supposed to be my commentator today, um, keeps telling me that, oh, I should speedrun the Super Nintendo version. And I was like, dude, that is so much, so much different than this version. I mean, it'd be fun to try, but it's so much different. All right, let's see if I can one-shot this. There we go! That's the stuff! Lately, I haven't been able to one-shot that carrier, but, you know... It's great when I do. So, this is the canyon stage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fly over a couple of the the rocks here. Um, so that way I can keep my, uh, my sub-weapons. Because in here, if you collect one of the little, the little guys that you save from the rock, you collect the thunder laser sub-weapon. But we don't want that. We want to stick with uh, bullpup sub-weapons. Because uh, bullpup sub-weapons are faster uh, than Thunder Laser. So yeah. And if you hit the bottoms of the base of the rocks, it pushes you back and you kind of lose sight of where, uh, where your plane is. And that's... Uh, nobody wants that. Uh, I don't even want that. There we go. Make quick work of that. And have another one come up from the bottom. Oh, that was not okay. Alright, now here, here's our boss. All right, and bull pups go. There we go. A little bit of fancy flying, getting out of the way of those bullets. All right. The cave level is. Uh, this is an interesting level, because uh, what you don't get in the Super Nintendo version is you got rocks from the ceiling that if you shoot them enough, they fall and block your flight path. 
And we don't want that. Ah. Bad shot. Ah, another bad shot. There we go. There we go. Okay. And perfect. So, no rockers. No rocks gonna take our flight pad. I'm gonna get save the little guy here because just because. And then move up and down just a little bit, just so gets out of the way of uh, bullet paths. So j right here, the we got this rock thing that just. Uh, fell and blocks our path. We don't want that. All right. Oh no. Uh, take away from the plane that shoots nap uh, drops napalms. Come on. There we go. And so what I'm doing is I'm basically mashing the sub-weapons button while holding down my Vulcans. Oh, I didn't want to use Phoenix. I wanted Falcons. That's okay. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. So, how much harder is this compared to the Super Nintendo version? Um... Can be difficult? Um... I, I think the Super Nintendo has a slightly... Uh, bigger difficulty than this. But, you know, that's just me. I, I do tend to find this version much easier. But it still has that uh, difficulty. Oh, no, uh... There we go. And we got planes coming from the back. Of uh, Okay, well. That's okay, we'll get life here. And then, uh... Okay, there we go. And then we'll get more sub-weapons coming up shortly. Yeah, right there. Oh, I got it! Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. just barely. So I'm gonna try and back up a little bit, since I I don't have the strongest uh, sub weapon. I kind of have to take it a little slower. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, this is a fun level. This is one of my favorites. So, if you're familiar with the Super Nintendo version, uh, this level is kind of a mix of the... Um, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The... The cruiser, the minx level, and the sea vet level, the submarine level. Because submarine's going to pop up uh, right here. Real easy. Real easy. And then we'll just have the minx, the carrier. Alright, so I'm going to try and destroy the tower as fast as I can. Um, it won't be a one-shot, but... Oh, 
Oh, I... I ran right into that, uh... Okay, here we go. Oh, I used up all my bombs. Ugh. Oh, that's no bueno. Okay, that actually no, that's okay. We'll make it work. And just shoot the shoot the body of the and just like that. But ideally I'd want uh to shoot the body with bombs and my Vulcans. Oh, okay. So this is probably one of the hardest stages in this game. It's, there's a lot going. Um, we're going to have returning bosses, like the tank from the first level, and the desert carrier from the, uh, uh, well, yeah, the desert level. But the only difference is it's going to be in pieces. So... So yeah, after this, after that is, this is where it's going to get, it's going to, like I said, there's going to be a lot of things going on. Planes falling, the electric, uh, and me running into walls, that's always a fun one. Okay, I'm going to, alright, good enough, I'll drop a napalm here, grab these guys. So yeah, uh, uh, yep. Ooh, there we go. That's the fancy flying right there. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we're, we're in good shape. We're in good shape. I know planes are going to be coming down here shortly. And this, this is where it gets bad. All right, there we go. That's probably the hardest of the three pieces. And we've got health. All right, so I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to stay on the lower end. So that way, napalms go, um... Napalms, uh, I can activate napalms a little bit quicker. Does the pilot eat fancy feast after fancy flying? Uh, oh, I didn't want that one. Uh, I wanted the, f um, the stronger super shells. Oh well. That's okay. We'll make do. And this is the final... Final boss. Make this work. Watch just some volleyball. Alright, so we're gonna turn around and take out some... Lots and uh, lots of guns, lots of missile launchers. Shoot a soup, uh, few super shells. Okay, all right, there we go. That's it for the top area. We'll get the nose and the stuff underneath, and then we'll um, blow up the uh, the jets and exhausts. Isn't it fun? Worth it. I don't care. I'll take damage for that. That's okay, because I'm, I'm going to be picking up health here uh, just up this way. There we go. 
And my health refill is that orange turret right there. And welcome on in, everyone. And again, uh, thank you for thank you everybody for the happy belated birthdays. Um, today was real fun. Got to play some uh, top golf. If you guys know what that is, it's real real addicting. It's so much fun. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Well. So that exhaust when it uh when it got destroyed still can still hit me and it hit me twice, which that's not always good, but uh hopefully hopefully get this thing out of the way real quick with no troubles. And here we go. Ah, crap. Let's keep this going. Oh, it was right there, too, time. <laughs> it was right there. Oh, darn it. <laughs> wow. That was like last oh, second. Right? It was just like... Just a couple more hits. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, bummer. <laughs> What's that? 2043? Uh, that, that's still good. <clears throat> At least it's under 21. That's all I cared. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, that was a great run. It was just so funny. Like, okay, all right, we could do this. And then, like, as soon as you came back, like, yeah. all right, all right, dead. Oh, oh, let's talk. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, like I said, the, uh, with that exhaust coming back, um, you should be able to destroy it while it's flying back, but sadly I wasn't able to, so it ended up hitting me twice. Okay. Therefore, having to take that death and continue on, so, but that, that's okay. Not yeah. a big deal. I mean, it was like a couple of <laughs> seconds at most, I would assume, you know? Oh, yeah, 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 just a couple seconds. Not a big deal. That, that was super stellar. Thank you so much, Mega Retro Man, for showcasing you and Squadron, especially because people in the chat either knew the game already or they knew it from a different console or platform, so it was really cool that you showed off the arcade version tonight. Yeah, I I really don't think the arcade version gets a lot of attention. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, I agree. And people people who are familiar with this game are very familiar with the Super Nintendo game, which you know I am not knocking the Super Nintendo version. It is awesome. I love playing it. Um, but yeah, just there's something about this the arcade port. It's just it's so nice to play. It just it feels good. Yeah, and you, and you made it look good. So thank you so much for showcasing it for us. And again, happy belated birthday. And you know what? We'll catch you on the flip side.